In today's video, we're going to be talking about why Rich Gannon is the best quarterback in Mutt and why you need him on your team today. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for watching today's video. Now, if you're brand new to my channel, maybe you don't know what I do here. What I do is I give you Madden 21 tips and tricks every single day that are designed to help you get better at Madden 21. And so if that's something that interests you, if you're looking to get better at this game, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. We upload YouTube content every day at two o'clock, at four o'clock, at six o'clock, and at eight o'clock p.m. Eastern time. We also live stream every single night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time right here on our YouTube channel. So make sure to subscribe. And one more thing, we give out free schemes for you guys every single week. These are meta schemes, high level stuff that pro players are using and the top players in the community are using. We give you that for free um, through our text message membership. You might see at the top left hand corner of your screen, a cell phone number. That's my personal cell phone number. So it's 812 216 Three six four four. So just shoot me a text anytime, and would love to connect with you, talk with you about Madden, but also would love to be able to send you this playlist that we've built, which has currently nine um, schemes broken down in it. We break down a new scheme every single week in it. So so far we've covered the single back trio, the gun bunch, the big nickel over G, the um, gun cluster, the uh, big nickel over G run defense. Right out of everything, so we show you run defense for every formation you're gonna face we've also shown uh gun a slot offset gun split close why off trips pads and rich gannon is the perfect quarterback for some of these schemes so uh anyways just wanted to share that with you if you want to get that material if you want to get that content to take your game to the next level all you got to do is text me my number is 812-216-3644 it's also in the description as well as in the top left hand corner now let's talk about rich gannon um, so for a while, I did a video, um, I, I think it was probably two months ago, and I talked about why Brett Favre is the best quarterback in Madden Ultimate Team, and he's been the best quarterback in Madden Ultimate Team for two months, which is actually really, really good for a quarterback to stay that good that long. Um, but I want to talk about Rich Gannon and why he is now the best. So really quickly, I want to go over Brett Favre really quickly and just show you what he was able to do. The first thing that you do is you take a look at his attributes. You see that he has 94 throw power, 91 short accuracy, 88 medium accuracy, and 90 deep accuracy. But when you put the play fake chemistry on him, um, what that does is it gets him uh, an advantage in medium accuracy. So it gets that medium accuracy over 90, which is the threshold for the top tier quarterbacks, right? Once they hit 90, that's kind of the best um, that they can do other than hitting 95. So it, essentially, you know, 90 is like the tier two threshold, like the second best. And then 95 and up is like, you know, a top of the line best. So Brett Favre wasn't missing a ton of throws. He had decent mobility at 77 speed. But if you had sprinter on him, um, he got that up to 80, uh, 79 or 80 speed somewhere in there. So he was kind of able to do a little bit of everything. But what made Brett Favre so special was not necessarily just his, uh, not necessarily just any of this stuff right here but it was two specific things that actually made him successful. The first thing that made him successful was his throwing animation. They gave him Aaron Rodgers' throwing animation in Mutt. So Brett Favre threw the ball really quick. He, got a, he had a quick release, was able to get the ball in his hands quick um, to avoid pressure. So that was one of the other reasons why Brett Favre was so good. Then the other reason that he was so good was if you look at his upgrades, if you took, take a look at his archetype here, he's a strong arm quarterback. And what strong arm quarterbacks were able to get is they were able to get this ability right here, Gunslinger, which I believe is the most powerful and, and most important ability in the game for a passer. Um, he was able to get Gunslinger, which also gave him faster throwing animations, but what the bigger picture is is that it gave him faster velocity on the ball, and so he was able to get receivers open at a pretty high level. So that's the reason that Brett Favre was so good, and some people would use Josh Allen. I would argue Brett Favre because of Brett Favre's release. Brett Favre's release is what really set him apart uh, from Josh Allen. So now what I want to show you is I want to show you why Rich Gannon is the best quarterback in the league. Now, uh, to be fair to Brett Favre, Rich Gannon is obviously chemistry up. You see here in, in my lineup, he's a 98 overall. I think he could even get up to a 99, but let's take a look at his attributes. So the, second, the first thing that we want to point out is he's a field general archetype. What that means is he's going to get different abilities um, based on his archetype. But as you can see right here, he has 86 speed. Now, coming stock without any power-ups or anything, he's going to have 84 speed. But in this situation, he has 86 speed. The next thing that he has is he's um, six foot three. I actually think that's important. Six foot three is good because over six foot two, like Brett Favre, when you would throw some, some balls, 
um, he would actually hit his linemen, right? So having that guy a little bit taller is going to help him out. Um, he has 88 acceleration, which is going to help him with that scrambling, that mobility piece. And then take a look at his throwing stats. I mean, he basically beats, beats Brett Favre in every category. Um, 99 throw power. That's obviously chemistry up, right? It's not, you know, it's it, he didn't come with that stock. He, I think he had 95 stock. But he has 94 short accuracy. He actually comes with 93 medium accuracy, um, which is fine. We've kimmed him up to 97. And then 93 deep accuracy. Now, I've actually thought about putting go deep on Rich Gannon just so that he can get over that 95 threshold. But I find that I actually throw a lot of medium routes compared to deep routes. Um, for crossing routes and post routes and in routes and slant routes and all that stuff, that's going to be in the medium accuracy range. Um, and I believe the medium accuracy range is 10 to 20 yards, if I remember correctly. Um, it might be 5 to 20 yards, but I'm pretty sure it's 10 to 20 yards. Um, anyways, all that to say, medium accuracy is the most important accuracy to statistic, at least in my opinion, um, especially with the way the game plays right now. So, um, anyway, these are his attributes. So, obviously, he's better than Brett Favre pretty much across the board, right? There's not a really question about that. The reason that most people would say you wouldn't use a Rich Gannon type of player is because the field general archetypes weren't able to get the gunslinger ability. They were only able to get the hot route, hot route master ability, which the hot route master ability is the second best ability for quarterbacks, in my opinion. And so what you'll notice here is with his, once you get him all powered up and get all this stuff put on him, if you go through his abilities, you're going to see that because he gets, uh, because he has 95 throw power, he's actually going to be able to get the gunslinger ability in tier three. So you can throw the gunslinger ability right here in this in this little pocket right here for only two AP, which is not that bad. Um, it, a lot of people thought it was going to be three AP. In reality, it's two AP, which actually is much 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 better because you're going to save some cap um, on your stuff. And then what you're able to do, and this is this is why this is the best quarterback in the game. You're able to combo these two items right here. And hot route master only costs him. 2 AP. So what that's going to allow you to do with your lineup, and we're going to back up in just a second and show you uh, my lineup. Now, I'm not doing a theme team or anything yet because I just haven't really gotten around to doing it, but I want to show you what this does for my squad in terms of my ability points um, because we all know that abilities are always really, really important. So if you go into my lineup here, what you're going to notice is Rich Galen's at quarterback one. He's got Hot Route Master. And I'm just going to show you my uh, – so beforehand, when I was running Brett Favre, I had to put tight end appearance on Chris Cooley. I had to have backfield master on Reggie Bush. And then I had to have um, either at least one, maybe two route chemistries for Allworth and Deion Sanders, like slot apprentice or outside apprentice or whatever, to get all of the routes that I wanted to use. But if you take a look now, what I'm able to do, if I go into my, my superstars – you're going to notice that Lance Allworth is able to get uh, – he doesn't have any route chemistry on him. Um, Reggie Bush doesn't have any route chemistry on him. And Chris Cooley doesn't have any route chemistry on him. So I still have my two edge protector tackles. I think that's kind of a must for your, for your team. But then what you'll notice that I have is I actually am able to get two different route technician wide receivers. Two of my route running archetype wide receivers are able to get route technician for only two AP. The reason that that's significant is because now it's going to turn those um, those routes that we're going to put those players on into almost instant win animations against man-to-man -man coverage. You're going to be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage a lot easier with these two receivers having that that um, that ability. So that's why this is so powerful. Because up until this point, I was only able to have maybe one. Uh, maybe one, definitely not two uh, route running abilities on my offense if I wanted to have all my routes. But now I'm able to get all the routes in the game, all the routes that I want to have, and still be able to have two different receivers that are going to be able to consistently get open against main man coverage. That right there is why Rich Gannon is the best quarterback in Madden 21 because now you can do everything that you wanted to do um, from a passing standpoint, getting the routes you wanted to get and being effective but now you can also combine that with being able to have receivers who can actually get open um, against some of those top tier cornerbacks because most of those top tier cornerbacks are going to have acrobat. They're not going to have run one step ahead. Most people have kind of gone away from that. And even if they do have one step ahead, it's not going to work. So, if, for example, you'll see um, in different gameplays that you'll see me use uh, Deion Sanders uh, because he has route technician on him. He's going to be able to get open on post routes and, and deep, deep, deep routes and leverage the fact that he has 95 speed. So, um, anyways, guys, that is 
uh, why Rich Gannon, I believe, is the best quarterback in Madden NFL 21. Uh, I think he's definitely, 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 I mean, clear cut the best quarterback. So if you have the coins to get him, I would highly suggest going ahead and picking him up. If you don't have the coins to get him, um, let me know. I can shoot you some methods and some different ideas of how you could actually get him. Um, but just shoot me a text anytime if you have any Madden questions. Now, if you want to get those eBooks um, or the, the schemes that we release every single week, Shoot me a text. Try it out with Rich Gannon. Um, it's actually going to be a lot of fun. Hot Route Master is really, really good in this game um, because of how effective the deep crossing routes from the slots are and also how effective like post routes and things like that are this year. Um, those in-breaking routes are really, really important, and this now allows you to do that. So that's why Rich Gannon is the best. Go ahead and pick him up. Um, I don't know that his stock or his uh, his uh, price is going to necessarily drop. It might drop a little bit, but this guy's the best quarterback in the game. So if you're playing weekend league and you don't have Rich Gannon, you're definitely at a uh, at a disadvantage in my opinion. So go pick him up. Thanks for watching this video. Um, we'll have more tips and tricks on this stuff coming soon. I'll probably do a lot more stuff with Hot Route Master um, as I try to learn how to take most advantage of it. The one thing with Hot Route Master you don't want to use is just use it just to use it. You want to actually have a plan for how you're going to use those routes. So that's just one little kind of piece of advice I would give you. But all in all, guys, this is a really, really big time, uh, big time car that came this weekend. So I uh, wanted to give a little bit of an update on my team and uh, and share a little bit about that. So thanks for watching, guys. And if you have any questions, just shoot me a text. If you want to get those free schemes, uh, shoot me a text as well.